My name is Alone and welcome to another Zero Tour episode. I'm going to start this one off by doing some Siliana. As you can see, maybe on my gear, I reinvested some of my gear money into Armadol crossbow and full Armadol set, except for the helmet, of course, and a twisted buckler. So my setup now for Siliana is very, very good. By the way, this marks the beginning of my grind to a twisted bow, so my future videos will be all about money making through bossing. So I'm really hyped about that actually because that means I can do whatever boss I want and rack up some KC maybe on some lower KC bosses that I just finished quickly for the videos. But uh, yeah, also if you want to join my Discord, the link to that will always be at the top of the description. I hope you guys will enjoy the content. Now this would be a perfect drop if it wasn't the first kills of the trip. Unfortunate, but hopefully they don't despawn before I get to use some of them. Dude, rune darts are 1k each. Okay, I don't want to die actually. This is uh, pretty scary. It's pretty sketchy right here. 1k per one rune dart. That is so not worth it. First hard clear of the video. It was actually a six step. So this is going to be hopefully a very good reward. 151k. That's, that's decent. By the way, I do think it's a pretty good thing to do this now that I'm starting the Twisted Bow grind. My current bank value is 404 million, and the loot that I've got from Siliana so far that was worth anything, including the hard clue loot I've put into my PVM tab. And by the way, what I have all the way up top here is just untradeables, all the way until, I guess, this marker right here. Everything here is untradeable, and then everything below that I can sell for profits. And uh, hopefully we can get a very nice loot tab in the near future. Kill number 50 so far in this video for coins. There we go, the total loot. Actually, why does it only... Sh okay, there you go. I haven't killed ads, of course, yet. Uh, but yeah, from 50 kills so far, I have gained... 1.2 million, so not really that much. I've probably used that, that amount in supplies, but of course, still no rare drops yet. That's where the money's at. 60 kills in, I get my first drop from a million. <laughs> God Sword Shard 3. Yeah, that is not the best drop I could have gotten. Oh my god, uh, we got a drop. Saradomin's Light, 400k. It is actually 1 in 256, I think. So it's uh, pretty much half as rare as the Sardomin's Hilt, which would be worth 40 mil. And uh, the Sardomin Sword is uh, half of the Sardomin's Light drop rate at 128 or something like that. So it's the second most rare drop, or common drop, second most common drop, but uh, at least it's a rare. Come to think of it, I've actually never used a Sardomin's Light to light up the Samurai Room, so I might as well just use the one I just got. Because it's only 400k, so it's not a massive amount, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, yes, let the light in. Pretty nice animation, and uh, now the Samrock room will be way more lighter. Oh my god! That is an armadillo crossbow! Oh my god, in the first kill of the, sec oh, the last trip, I mean. Oh my god, that is 24 million right in the pocket. Can I drop this vial, please? Actually, so nice that I actually got a huge drop in this. Uh, I only need to do six more KC until I've done 100. Damn, that looks good. I have two now in my inventory. And uh, here we go, number 100th kill. Let's get a Sardom in Hilt. That is not a Hilt. But uh, let's see the overall loot from 100 Silianas, 27 million, and of course... 24 million of that is the armadillo crossbow so that means the normal loot except one of course rare is like 3 million so for 100 kills expect like 3 million without any rares really because this is not really a super rare item so you should expect to get at least a saradomin sword or a light in 100 kills actually with that armadillo crossbow drop i only need the saradomin's hilt and well the pet to complete the commander siliana log and if you don't know already and watched my series, look at this, 271 KC and I have completed the full, full armada log. So I'm not as lucky on Commander Siliana, I guess I could be if I got the Sardomin's Hilt and the Petium 50 KC, but uh, yeah, that's pretty unlikely. First corrupted gauntlet of the day and it is a success. And uh, that is also kill 11, let's get up late on this one. Not this time. Corrupted Gauntlet number 12, decent loot. I mean, you can't win all of them. Uh, nice reward for dying, 399 mine runes, not even 400. 420, Hunlef kill, get something good. 
Oh, that is... Oh god, dude. Eight maple longbows for dying. You know what? I'm just going to get 15 KC and be done with it. I'm not really having that much fun right now at the Corrupted Gauntlet. I'm uh, struggling way too much. Done with the preparations. Two minutes almost before the timer runs out. That is the fastest I've ever done it. But uh, let's see if I can actually get a kill now as well. Oh my... No way! No, dude. Did I just die at the same time? There's no way. No, dude. There's no way. Oh. It's so sad. Come on, dude. There we go. Finally, uh, 14 kills now. So I'm going to do one more successful kill. And uh, for this, we got some regular loot. Okay, KC number 15 is done. And uh, how I feel about the Corrupted Gauntlet, at least right now, is that sometimes you get a flow and you just get really lucky with the rooms. At least for me as a beginner. Uh, and I can just smoke through it super easy and get the kill and it's done. And sometimes it's like I go through 10 rooms, I just do not find a fishing spot. A single fishing spot, I can just not find it. And then I just, I'm just screwed. I just have to die on the boss because I couldn't find any food. But it is kind of fun to play and I can definitely see how you can easily learn to do this with a 100% success rate if you just know how to do everything efficiently. But probably in my future videos I will do the Corrupted Gauntlet now and then for small increments of time. So for example like this, let's get something good. That is not very good. It's like 100k I guess. I guess it could be worse. But uh, yeah, so like 500k loot from that I guess that I did, but it took a very long time because I do die a lot. But uh, yeah, it's still fun to learn it and I know that if you're really good at it you can make some nice profits. So the necklace attachment to the Amulet of Fury was recently buffed like crazy, so it's probably skyrocketing right now. It's currently at 9 million and it's going up like 300k every time I check. So I'm going to try to get 82 thieving, which is just one level, so that should be very quick. Then get the full rogues outfit that duplicates loot, so if I do get one of those nice blood shards from a buyer, I will get two of them. And uh, that is going to be the goal for me right now, and uh, hopefully I can get two of them in one thieve and make like 20 mil of one single pickpocket. I thought I might as well just go for the thieving equipment anyways, because it does give me some thieving experience before 82 thieving. And uh, on my third run, I got my first piece, and I definitely... Uh, how many are there? Five. Okay, that is... It's going to take a while, but that is the first piece at least. Oh, actually, a back-to-back -back, uh, row kit, so let's get a uh, second piece, I guess that's the top. Three more to go. Okay, I am incredibly lucky. This is the third piece in four runs. Trousers, then only boots and gloves left. This is so nice. Oh, hell yeah, another one. Only one more to go. Boots has been obtained. Let's get those gloves now. Okay, uh... <laughs> I did a total of seven. And I got five pieces. Uh, okay, there we go. That is the easiest thing I've ever done in RuneScape, I think. That is the full rogue set completed in like 30 minutes. I think this should give me 82, I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. 82 thieving. Of course, uh, there you go, There you have the virus there. Uh, I am pretty worried about the uh, success rate of pickpocketing something that I just barely have the level for. But uh, let's try it out and see what my success rate is going to be. So let's have a look at this now. I've almost done a 20 minute test right here and the success rate is pretty goddamn low. I would say like 35% or 40%. And I have pickpocketed 107, so let's just say around 100 of them in 20 minutes. That's 300 per hour and so to get one drop of blood shards, aka 2 in 1 now that I have the rogue set, that would be 20 hours of pickpocketing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep doing it because I would love to get a double blood shard and now that they seem to be spiking in value. But to increase my chances I am going to do the medium Ardoin diary and then after that I will do the hard one and that will give me the 10% thieving success rate boost. Of course there's a lot of things I have to do for that but... Uh, I will uh, try my best to slave that out. I have to do the Enlightened Journey, Hand in the Sand, Tower of Life, and then the big one, 65 Runecrafting. Oh boy, that is going to be a joy. 
Should be the end of the enlightened journey here. Very easy quest. There we go. One quest point, some experience here. Fortunately, no runecrafting experience. That's going to help me on that grind, but the quest is done nonetheless. That is also the end of the hand in the sand quest. 9k crafting, 1k thieving. Access to the magic guild rune store, secret reward from birds. Also, I think that's just sand bucket, so not really that valuable. But um, do I have. I think I have one more quest between a rock to do. It was actually Tower of Life, not between a rock, but uh, bless me. I was looking through what I actually need to do for the medium diary, and it says harvest some strawberries from the Ardoin farming patch. And I must have thought about this ways ago, because I bought all the seeds and I was going to plant it, and I already had them planted. So let's get this uh, achievement done. Boom, medium diary done. Thanks for doing that, my uh, past self. The Tower of Life now completed, two quest points for that one actually. Uh, so I actually have all the requirements now, except I need to get 60 rune crafting, so I then can boost to 65 and craft death runes, but after that I have all the requirements for both the medium and the hard diary. So for my training from 55 rune crafting all the way to 60, I'm just going to do the... I have no idea how to pronounce this, the uh, Oriana Altar. And it is very AFK, you can literally just, well, you can even follow people like this. And I now have the Day Old Essence as well, because I've completed the new quest, The Sins of the Father. Which will give me 50% more experience, and it is very AFK, you just run all the way here. You click on the altar and you get experience, so hopefully this will be done fairly soon. I would say pretty easy 60 rune crafting achieved, I might as well just finish these that I have in my pouches. Uh, but yeah, let's go get that boost and finish the hard diary. Finally got the boost, I had to actually uh, risk it and run all the way here and just craft because uh, I didn't have enough time to get here otherwise. But that is now that done, now I just have to go and pick up the poison ivy. And to finish off the diary, I just have to uh, pick some of these uh, poison ivy bushes. And uh, there we go, we're now done with all the ones for the harder uh, diary. And uh, I'm going to go and get the reward and I can get into pickpocketing again. Of course, the experience lamp that I just got is going to go towards runecrafting, as always, for 15,000 experience. That is so much experience. So we are now 1,000 pickpockets in. You can see here, 1,000. And they are, so far, without blood shards, 400 GP per pickpocket. So the money is not very good, and the success rate of pickpocketing, even after the Ardoin diary, it's still pretty terrible. I mean, I get hit so much and I'm pretty sure this took me like three hours or three and a half hours of pickpocketing. So yeah, I don't really think it's the best. Uh, if I at this, if at the normal rate I would get a blood shot, which is one in 6k, I would get like uh, one mil an hour at maximum, I think. It depends on the price of the blood shards. And um, I'm not really sure, that's that's not the best drop rate really. And uh, I actually bought these dodgy necklaces as well that makes it so that 25% um, of the time when you get caught you don't actually uh, get stunned and take damage. Like there you could see I didn't actually get stunned and I can just instantly pickpocket as well. Um, but yeah, it is not that good. Uh, but I don't think, I'm not sure if pickpocketing or killing sentinels is faster. If I kill sentinels, I will only get one blood shard on a drop, and if I eventually get one from pickpocketing, it will be two. So it probably is better with pickpocketing. Maybe it's not the best because I'm not 99. I did get 83 by the way, so I did get a level. The experience is like 60k, maybe 70k an hour at my level. So it's not that great experience either, but I'm going to pickpocket for a while more, but I'm not going to do 6k pickpockets, there's literally no way. But maybe I'll do 2k and then I'll stop at that and give me a 33% chance of getting uh, a blood shard, and we will be happy with that. So I just hit 84 thieving and I think I'm going to stop here because I am at 1.7k pickpockets almost, so not quite 2k. But um, actually let me uh, take this up again and show you guys, Blood Shard is 8 million now, and it was almost at 9 million before, sorry for that. Um, and so it is dropping quite a lot, uh, and that is not a good sign, it uh, probably is less than 8 mil even. So I'm just going to stop pickpocketing here, I mean I almost got half, or I got half a million experience, so that is very nice, uh, profits right there anyways on my levels. 
but for money, even if I get a double blood shard, maybe it's not going to be that good for the time investment. I mean, for these two levels, I've already spent like eight hours pickpocketing, so yeah, not really maybe the best thing. And uh, as you can see, I didn't really get any blood shards either, and the normal drops that you get from pickpocketing is terrible. What I'm actually going to do is I am going to try a nightmare solo because I have heard the nightmare solo is way easier with a blood amulet of fury. So that is exactly what I'm going to try. This is going to be so interesting. See, it's even dropping still. So I want to see how much one of these are actually selling for right now. I'm going to guess like 7.1 million. I actually think it's that low. Let's see. Wait, it's not actually buying for the this price even though it's dropping? Okay, I'm just going to give it just a bit and see if it actually buys after a bit. Okay, I did give it 30 minutes and uh, nope, it still didn't buy actually, so I'm very surprised about that. So I'm going to just put this on like 9 mil and let's see what happens. Did buy for just above the average price. So I guess it seems like it's stabilizing around 8 million, which is probably a fair price for the item. But let's uh, equip this on my Amulet of Fury now. Yes, I don't care. Combine it, and there we have the Amulet of Blood Fury, which now I think has 10,000 charges. Let's check it. It does have 10,000 more hits. So this is the setup that I'm going to try to do my first Nightmare Solo with. It is the Max Melee setup with the Blood Amulet of Fury, as well as just a three-way Matic switch. I don't think it matters if I have Bandos on, because I don't think the Pillars actually have any Matic defense. So uh, I should be fine with this setup, and uh, let's see how this feels. Because uh, last time I tried a solo I got to third phase, but I just didn't have enough food left. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see if this is going to tip the scales into my favor. And that is my first Nightmare solo ever. Let's see what the drop is going to be. And the time is going to be insanely high, I'm pretty sure. 23 minutes and for a 27k drop. 20, 23.29. I see people do like 17 minute solos. And uh, of course my gear is not the best for this and the amount of supplies I used is pretty substantial. I mean, when it comes to food, I, the, I only think I really used Saradome Bruce when I screwed up my prayers, mostly on the melee hits. So of course I can improve on that, because I actually feel like the Blood Amulet of Fury healed most of the casual damage that you take. Really the only times I took damage was uh, when I got hit by things, uh, when I just had the wrong prayer up, that's it. So the big issue with doing uh, long solos, I guess, is the prayer. I used all of my prayer potions and I only have three doses left of the Sandfuse Serum. I guess that if I turned off my prayers and flicked more, I could stay longer. And if I had better gear and didn't have to stay in there for 23 and a half minutes and could do like 17 or 18 minute solos, that would of course uh, make me able to stay longer with my prayer as well. So. I would say the Blood Amulet of Fury is very, very, very good for the Nightmare. Only took 300 charges actually for that one kill. I'm very surprised about that. I thought, thought it would be way more. So for this boss, I would definitely recommend a Blood Amulet of Fury. If you do it in a five-man group or something, I'm pretty sure you can like just bring only Restores and not even care about Saradam and Bruce. You could bring like two of them or something, which is extremely good. So before we end the video, let's look at the two slides of the boss kills. As you can see on the first slides, I've completed all of the bosses in the last video I think I did. And uh, I added 100 KC to Siliana, one only to the Nightmare on this one. And on the second one, there is no additional KC, but I only miss the Inferno as you can see, which is going to be the goal for this series now, aka get that twisted bow and get it done. That is going to do it for this video, I hope you guys did enjoy it, and if you want to see more of my content, you can click any other video on the screen right now, or you can subscribe if you want to see more of my content whenever I upload it directly in your sub box. Also, if you did like the video, please leave a like, and with that, I hope you guys did enjoy it, and see you in the next one, take care.